And with that, it was time to prep for a round in one of the toughest public courses in the world, Beth Page Black, host site of the 2002 and 2009 US Opens. And while it was treacherous for pros, as just six of them finished under par in the two Opens combined, it was even harder for three Golf.com staffers. That said, once we got on site, we decided to make a little wager on the 15th hole, the hardest at both Opens. This brutal par four is so rough that in 2009, it yielded just 17 birdies all week, and 180 bogeys or worse. It's ridiculously hard. The famous warning sign sits in front of the first tee, trying to scare off the bravest of the high handicappers. But that sign is a mystery in itself. No one can agree on when it was put up, which only adds to the mystique of the black course. But off we went, and we found water, and gnarly knee-high grass, and deep, heavy bunkers. We even lost balls that were clearly just feet off the fairway, gobbled up by the thick perennial ryegrass. We hit good shots. There we go. Josh Ballesteros over here. And we hit terrible oh, shots. Man. It sounded all right. Luke, a low handicap, played from the tips, and on the par three third hole was forced to hit driver. The number was 255, and he was into the wind. He had no other choice. Can we even get this airborne is the question. After slogging our way through 14 holes, we crossed back over around Swamp Road to the 15th, and it was time for our wager. The highest score from the tournament tees, 485 yards away, would carry all three bags into the clubhouse. Let's go. I got trouble left. Luke's in the first cut, left center. Josh is trouble right. Let's see what happens. I don't know how far I have, but I have a five iron. Nice old baby five. Luke's looking for his ball, so I might be in decent shape. It's hard to get out of this rough, but I'll take that one. How do you feel about it? Good layup. It's just laid up on a bar floor. Okay, Luke, what do we got here? So we're 198, up here, rough door, front of door, into a uh, slight wind to slight help. It's kind of a crack of four iron up there. As far as I can, the water is zero. Lucky. When Tiger won the US Open here in 2002, he played this hole in 100 feet a week. That's probably what I'm going to do right now. Oh boy. Oh no. Third shot. 50 yards left on a bar four. Had to lay up. With a thinned wedge and bad read, my double bogey made me the loser of this challenge. Oh well. A $65 tea time at an iconic US Open venue is well worth the sore back. Although my ego might not heal as quickly. 